So one of the things I get asked about most commonly is headphones and earbuds and that sort of thing and which ones do I recommend, which ones do I use myself. Um, probably every week somebody asks me about this and to be honest I've tried quite a lot. I've tried an awful lot of different headphones, wired, wireless, Bluetooth, the works. Um, and over the last few months I've kind of defaulted to the Amazon Echo Buds simply because they're small, they're light, they fit in my pocket. Um, and although they're small, they're the easiest to carry around. But that isn't to say that those are the only ones that I do use. Um, I'm not a huge music you know, expert or anything like that. I just know what I like, I know what's comfortable. Um, and I know from a technical perspective what I want the headphones to do. Um, so with that in mind, I'm gonna talk mostly today about uh, my review of the um, Echo Buds three months in, I've had them nearly three months now, but also some of the other headphones that I've used over the last little while and why, so stick around. So for a very long time, my favorite pair of headphones were these, the Crusher, uh, Skull Candy Crusher headphones. Um, and they were good because they fold up nice and neat. The sound on these is absolutely spectacular. The battery life is virtually unparalleled. I think you can get up to 40 hours on this. Um, they also do a quick charge function, which is really, really good. There's also this little switch here that lets you turn up the bass as you're listening. And believe me, if you're watching an action movie um, from your TV, or whatever on this, the sound is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and these up until very recently were my absolute favorite pair. There's just one small problem as you can probably see. I have had to 3D print replacement hinges, um, not once, not twice, but three times because whoever engineered these did not think about heavy usage um, and heavy duty use and unfortunately I have broken the hinge not once not twice but three times um, and that's not great so I'm I love these headphones absolutely spectacular the sound off them is amazing um, they also do multi-point which means they can connect to multiple devices so these are the now the headphones that I use at home and I have them connected to both my TV in my living room and the TV in my bedroom um, and if I want to listen to something really loud and not wake uh, our, my daughter who's only three um, these I stick on and both my TVs have Bluetooth and I can connect to them but also I can have this connected to my mobile phone so if my phone rings I can hear it through that and um, there isn't really noise cancelling as such although with these on I can't really hear anything in the outside world because they're super snug and super comfortable and the sound is really really comfy um, as I said the battery life on these is spectacular um, they charge with a micro USB the same as most of the phones um, you know, USB-C would be better, but also they have the option that you can actually plug it in wired so you can use a standard uh, jack um, 3.5 millimeter audio cable, which actually comes with it. Um, and there's a nice little carry case. So I still absolutely love these. Um, I'm just super disappointed that they haven't made these parts tougher. So I'm thinking about getting these hinges um, 3D printed in steel um, or some sort of metal so that they're a lot more durable because these I love for traveling. Um, I love for working on my laptop when I'm trying to edit videos. Um, these are the ones that I kind of default to um, and they are super, super, super super comfy um, and even walking to work they're super warm as well if it's a cold day so these are my kind of good quality amazing sound spectacular battery life um, can't be beaten it's just that design flaw is is really really bugging me but thankfully I do have access to a 3d printer so I can do it um, but it's not as strong or as as nicely finished as the original. So I'm thinking about getting it professionally um, 3D printed in steel to replace those. Skull Candy, if you're listening, I love these, but please fix that. Um, the other thing is that there's no um, assistant in this, so I can't use um, Amazon uh, or Google Plus uh, hands-free. Now I can set it up and use it on my phone and I can set it up so that there's a button command to do it, but it's a little bit awkward, so I don't use those. But they are absolutely spectacular and I'll put the link for them in the, the description below. Um, they're not the newest models, so they are a little bit cheaper than they used to be. I got them on sale um, a little over, I think about 18 months ago, um, and I got them nearly half price as part of an Amazon sale. So these are absolutely spectacular. Um, pretty comfy and genuinely I can't hear a thing in spite of the fact that there's no real active noise cancelling in them. Um, they do use some sort of noise technology but to be honest they're just such a snug fit you don't really hear anything. Um, 
On top of those then, I have a pair of Cheapy Cheapy. Um, these are Goji, which are, as far as I know, Dixon's own brand ones. Um, the downside to these are they're not multi-point, so they can only connect to one device at a time. In other words, if I want to connect to a different device, I have to repair every time I want to connect it to another device. These though are really, really useful if it's a situation whereby I'm throwing things around, I'm not worried about the cost. These were only about 20 euro um, in PC world. Uh, again, they come with a little jack so I can plug these in to the uh, mobile phone or the laptop and use them. So if I need something in a hurry, um, not for anything important, but just kind of uh, quick and on the go, or if you're just using one single device, these are quite a good option. The sound actually is pretty good considering they were only about 20 quid. Um, and the battery life isn't, isn't awful, like I was getting a couple of days out of them with moderate use. So if you just need something cheap and cheerful, or if you're giving something um, to somebody who's a little bit rougher or a little bit, um, you know, younger maybe, these are actually a really, really good option. Um, and I'll include a link to these below. Um, sound quality, as I said, pretty good, not spectacular, um, but definitely a really, really good, you know, first pair of wireless over ear headphones. Um, the lack of multi-point though really bugs me because I have multiple devices from my laptop, my phone, my TVs and whatever else. Um, I also have this really, really good pair of um, Plantronics ones. Um, these ones are, would easily rival the uh, Skull Candy ones. They don't fold though, which is a bit of a pain, um, but the active noise reduction on these is fantastic. Um, they also do pass through. So when you're on these, you can actually turn on the pass through mode um, and you can hear what's going on around you and you can even amplify what's going on around you. So late at night, um, if my daughter's not well, for example, I can be listening to a movie really, really loud, but I can still hear if she calls out in the middle of the night. There's lots of controls on these, um, you know, volume control. There's a little rocker there that I can control the volume. Um, and again, like like so many of them now, you can plug in the, the audio jack and it works with those. Again, uh, these are micro USB charging. I don't know why more headphones aren't using USB-C, but hopefully it'll get that way. Um, and there's some really nice features on these ones. The sound is incredible. Um, they fit kind of snug as well. Um, I've only just got these, so I'm, I'm, I haven't had a chance to really muck around with them too much. Um, but these are the ones that I use in work primarily because they do help filter out the noise or if I wanna to listen to something that I'm working on, um, but still hear what's going on around me, I can have that pass through mode on. So these are also a really, really good option. So those are the kind of over ear headphones that I go for. But to be honest, as I said, I've defaulted to the Echo Buds. Um, simply Simply because I, when I'm walking around on a daily basis, my daily kind of carry is, is my phone, my credit card, my travel card, and a pair of headphones. I don't carry anything else. Um, and these are the best of the <coughs> excuse me in earbuds that I've tried so far. Um, I don't like the Apple ones. I know I'm not a big Apple fan anyway. <coughs> but I don't particularly like the design. Um, I find them a little bit kind of, it just feels like I'm wearing a normal pair of in-ear um, earphones that have just had the cable cut off. Um, they're not bad, don't get me wrong. But what I really love about the Amazon Echo Buds is first and foremost, um, the case. So the case, as I mentioned when I, <coughs> excuse me, first reviewed these, the case actually charges them as well three additional times. Um, again, I kind of wish Amazon had done USB-C instead of micro USB charging, but we can't all get what we want. Um, you can pair them with uh, another device just by pressing the button down below. They remember several devices, but they can only connect to one at a time, so they're not true multi-point. So if I have them connected to my TV, I can only use them with my TV, and then they'll disconnect from the TV and connect to my phone. So they will remember, I think it's five devices, or at least I've got it connected to three or four at the moment, so that's probably up to five, but they won't let you use them at the same time, which the Skull Candy will, which I find very, very handy. Um, to turn them on, you literally just open the box, and as you see, they've lit up there, um, and you pop them in their ear. The best thing, though, about these is that they have Amazon, um, Ooh, I've, <laughs> I've just messed up the sound by doing that, by, by opening the box I've connected. Um, so the best thing about these though is that um, they have uh, Amazon uh, uh, um, built in. Um, 
in that as long as you have an internet connection, you can use the voice assistant wirelessly um, and use all the same commands as you would from an Echo, an Echo Dot, Echo Show, whatever it is. Um, so I can do cool things like open my Spotify, open my Audible, change the track, get the weather, set timers as I'm on the go. Um, but what's really, really good about these is that you, can, you don't just have to use um, Amazon's uh, voice assistant, you can actually change it and use uh, Google Home, uh, OK Google, uh, you can even use Siri. So you're not limited, which a lot of the headphones do uh, limit you to one assistant. These are not limited to one specific assistant. You can actually change it. Plus you have a great amount of control on these. So both the left and the right have a tap and hold or a double tap option and you can change what each of those does so you essentially have four different options that you can do so at the moment i have tap and double tap on right is turn off active noise cancellation and turn on pass through so i can hear what's going on around me um, on the left i have uh, use Google Assistant um, and then I have a couple of other things so I can tap and hold uh, which will pause or whatever it is that I want to do um, I think I have tap and hold set to answer call but I can answer the call with my voice as well which is really really good but you can customize those settings which is amazing um, battery life is pretty good on them as I said the case gives you an additional three charges and um, when you have the two earbuds in your ears if you take one out it automatically pauses what you're listening to and when you pop it back in it recognizes that it's back in your ear and it puts the music or the audiobook back on again so these are really really smart um, the other thing about them is they're really really small and compact and neat but they didn't sacrifice on sound quality the sound quality is actually very very good on these um, um, now again, I'm not an audio expert or anything like that, but I love the sound off these. Um, the only complaints that I really have had so far are the fact that it's not USB-C and my phone is. Um, occasionally when I'm traveling, I have noticed getting some interference, particularly in the left uh, ear, which makes sense because it's the furthest away from my phone. My phone is generally in my right pocket. Um, so I have heard some breaking up and static and whatever else, but it's only been very, very infrequently. Um, so I really, really like these. It took me a little while to get used to the ear tips and the wing tips um, that keep them in your ears, but they are really, really good. Um, what else to say? Yeah, the only other major disadvantage is that because the you can even see it on the box, um, they get very scuffed very, very quickly. So the earbuds themselves get very scuffed very quickly as well. Um, so if I turn off my Bluetooth here so that I don't interrupt by doing this, uh, if I take these out again. So I don't know if you can see on those, but they do get quite scuffed quite quickly. Um, and these wing tips that you can, these are removable and you can change the sizes of these. It takes a little bit of time to get used to the ones that you've chosen. Um, but having said that, I am quite comfortable with them now. So I really, really like these. Uh, and these would be my everyday carry simply because they're the smallest and lightest. Um, but given the choice between all of those at the moment, it is the skull candy apart from that, that design flaw. Um, I, I'm going to try and get my hands on some of the new, say, Samsung and, and the new um, Apple earbuds as well, the, the new version of them, the Pros, um, to compare and contrast. Um, but so far, I have really, really enjoyed using these and having Alexa in my pocket is really, really handy. Um, a lot of people have said you'd never use the pass-through mode, that you just, if you're talking to someone, you just take one out and then you can hear the person. But actually, when I'm traveling, if I want to hear announcements and whatever else, double tapping and getting the pass-through and being able to hear what station I'm at um, has been very, very handy. So yeah, these absolutely recommend them. Um, and it's not just because I'm a fan of the Amazon ecosystem. They're actually really, really good and they're a really really good price point amazon though multi-point if you had made these multi-point so i could connect them to my phone and my tv at the same time um, or my laptop and my phone at the same time that really would have been a benefit so look guys i'm, I'm curious to see what you think um, if you have any preference for headphones headsets earbuds or whatever else um, or if there are any in particular that you're interested in that you'd like me to take a look at please hit me up in the comments below about this or anything else that i've talked about in the videos over the last few weeks um, and in the meantime if you could give this video an old subscribe and a like a bit of a thumbs up would be great. Let other people know that this video is pretty good. Um, and in the meantime, you can follow me on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, and with that in mind, I'll see you next week. But for now, bye-bye for now.